It's a court case that's being closely watched in Beijing, Ottawa, and in Washington, Monday marking the opening of the extradition hearing for Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou. It's been, a, it's been more than a year since Meng was arrested in Canada at the U.S.'s request. She's accused of bank fraud in violation of American sanctions on Iran. CGTN's Dan Williams is in Vancouver with more. Meng Wanzhou will return to the court spotlight this week for the start of her extradition hearing. Huawei's chief financial officer was arrested in Vancouver in December 2018 following a request by the United States. She is accused of committing bank and wire fraud in violation of U.S. sanctions on Iran. This phase of the hearing will focus on double criminality, an argument put forward by Meng's defense lawyers. They argue Meng should not be extradited, as her actions could not be considered crimes under Canadian law. Gary Botting is an extradition lawyer and had been part of Meng's defense team. Well, the first phase deals with criminality, whether uh, the allegations against Madame Meng are in, uh, criminal in Canada, and they have to be criminal in both Canada and the United States. What she is alleged to have done is in a foreign country altogether, and we don't have jurisdiction in Canada to pursue that. And therefore, it's fairly clear that there is no criminality in Canada. One analyst says this next phase is critical. To some extent, this is the pivotal part of the whole story because uh, you know, everything is dependent essentially on the dual criminality. If dual criminality is upheld, uh, if there is a decision by the court that this is not linked to sanctions, but it's all about bank fraud, then the rest of the trial is a more routine thing, and in general, those trials go uh, you know, toward extradition. This next phase of the hearing promises to be crucial in a saga that stretches back more than a year. But although the immediate focus will be on events at this courthouse, the implications of the hearing are far more reaching. Meng's extradition case has become highly politicized. After her arrest, U.S. President Donald Trump said he could intervene if it helped secure a future trade deal with China. While relations between China and Canada have also been strained, Canada accused China of retaliation after China arrested two Canadians, Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavor, on allegations of espionage. China says the arrests are not connected. This is by any account the worst moment in Canada-China relations since 1970, since the opening of, of the resumption of diplomatic relations. Uh, so both sides have deep uh, frustration and anger and the outcome of this is the relationship is frozen. There is much that hangs in the balance when this hearing begins. Dan Williams, CGTN, Vancouver.